just to get us into the topic of uh, what the Celtics are now going to become. So, again, they set us, uh, they start us off by saying we know now what they're not. They're not that team that's going to knock on the door and not break through. And, uh, you know, I, I guess they could have been that team, but did you ever think they were going to be like that Jazz team, that Trailblazers team they were talking about, the Sacramento team that they were talking about there? Do, do you, don't you feel that's sort of underselling them even before this year? Uh, did I worry about it? No, but did it cross my mind? What yeah. I'm, what I'm saying is I, I felt this team was better than those teams. Yeah. No? After, they, la- I, go ahead, Mark. after last year, the way that they lost Game 7 of the Heat, the nine turnovers by Brown, as bad as it looked, I convinced myself this core was never going to win anything. That that's, that's what they were. Yeah. I was leaning more OKC with Harden and Westbrook and um, Durant. Great one. Make yeah, it better so look, one. At, there were some good teams over the years that have been put together for whatever reason did not win. And, like, you know, now, did I think that, like, we've asked the question, Jason Tatum, is he going to win a championship? My answer is yes. But I didn't know if it would be here. Mm. Like, I think there are some variables that can come into play that can undermine the thing. And so, you know, some of it is you got to sort of wait it out and let the process run. And look, put it this way. Look at what happened to LeBron in Cleveland. Now, again, he was just a singular. But the first time through, it didn't work. You know, they didn't put the team around him, whatever. Like, uh, dial it up however you want. He had to leave and go to Miami in order to win a championship. This felt like more of a... A team thing than a LeBron thing. You know, LeBron was a singular entity. But can it fall apart? Yes. Yes, it can. Okay, now. Excuse me, now. So if that's what they're not. We now know what they're not. What are they? And uh, as you might be surprised to, 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 to learn, uh, I, I think people are getting ahead of themselves around here about what now is coming. And they, they really just look at Jalen Brown... 27, Jason Tatum, 26, and say, here we go. You know, dynasty, here it comes. And uh, I'm not as confident in that as people around here. And I I think people are grossly underestimating the impediments to that. And again, I'm not as smart as you people, so I can't predict the future. All all I know is I think it's a crapshoot. It's it's as much of a, as much if not more of a crapshoot that this thing's going to stay together and you're going to win at this level multiple times over a long stretch of time, I think that's a bigger crapshoot than you even winning once, frankly. And I think people are underestimating it. So this is sort of the topic to start the show. 617-779-0985. you think they're, we're looking at a dynasty, Murray? I'll start with you. Um, the real reason I say no is because I thought that we, we, we would be looking at one with the Denver Nuggets after they broke through last year. And that Jokic is still, to me, the best player in the league. I think most people that cover the NBA would agree with that. And even they fell short. And maybe it was too many games played over a short amount of years or whatever. But something happened there. And after seeing that, it's like, well, I don't know. Anything could happen. Whether it's Pat Riley's disease of me thing seeping in with some of these guys. Maybe, I don't know, like Tatum and Brown say the right things. And they said the right things even as they wrapped this up the other night. But you never know. Like, what if Tatum continues to be like the media darling? And he's shoved down everybody's throats in terms of endorsements and everything else. After Brown won MVP in the NBA Finals, and he's feeling like, well, where's mine? Like, these things can start to happen, and that can derail you. I just, I thought the Nuggets were going to be on their way for years, like a couple straight, maybe even three straight. Like, that's how good I think Jokic is, and that, you know, they were really good last year, and they fell short to a Minnesota team that kind of overachieved. So if that can happen to them, the Celtics can get derailed next year. What do you think, Mass? So when you use the word dynasty, like... Let's go three. Okay. Should... I, here's what I know. They should win multiple championships. Multiple. They should. Okay. So, again, will they? I don't know. I mean, I still have – I always have doubts about everything. So, and it's Specifically, hard to, what are they? Uh, well, I think, I think it's harder to win in the league now than it has been in the past because you have a better dispersion of talent across the board in the league, and there are more variables in terms of what the players want. I'm not sure players want to win as much as they used to. And so, you know, they get their one title. They get their marketing and shoe deals. Now it's all of a sudden, the you know, the whole piano's off my back. And I don't have to worry about it anymore. And here you go. Look, look at Kevin Durant. The, the winning competitively is not what mattered to him. It was almost like another thing he had to check off his list in order to become the brand that he wanted to be. And I would feel the same way about LeBron. 
this is an important point. Uh, usually teams break up when they don't win it. Uh, OKC, to you know, cite an example. LeBron the first time from Cleveland. Okay, so that's typically what happens, where it's not good enough where there are, so they have to go somewhere else to win. Uh, however, there are cases where that's not, and there's more and more as we go forward, where guys are leaving championship teams. Kawhi Leonard did it. LeBron James did it. Kevin Durant uh, yeah, it did Golden it. State. Okay, so like, it's no guarantee that if you win, they're going to stay. I think that used to be the mindset. Correct. If the guy can win there, there's no reason for him to leave. And more and more guys leave. So Maz's point is an important one. Just winning is no longer the guarantee it used to be. Uh, so the, Mike in terms are, are short-term and long. Uh, the the, the short-term one is the cast. I think the surrounding cast is obviously excellent but has far more uh, margin for error than people are giving it credit for, or far less margin for error, I guess I would say, in that Holiday is 34-35. Porzingis can't stay healthy. Horford, uh, come on. How much longer can you expect that? And, uh, you know, I, 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 I just think that uh, Derek White, tremendous, but are they going to pay Holiday and White? Are they going to go into the second apron? That's a whole new thing. The second apron didn't exist three years ago. Yes, Jimmy? Did you have a thought? I was going to say Derek White needs a new contract. He needs a new contract. So uh, they say they're going to pay it. I think they're going to pay it. Those are big dollars. Those tax dollars, that's a lot. That's a lot of money for a team that doesn't own its own building. So you got to see how that all shakes out. Uh, the good news is Brown and Tatum, I do think, are here for a set amount of time. Because the way their Supermax contracts time out and the rules related to it. For example, Brown signed his last year, so he couldn't be traded. He can be traded starting next month, but that ain't gonna happen. he's not going to leave after right right when, when he... Like, it's not... We're not there yet. Tatum's going to sign this year. He can't be traded for another year. They're coming off the championship. So, like, I think you've got a nice little two, three-year guarantee with those two guys. Which is nothing to sneeze at. So, like, I think that's okay. But the cast, I think that's a, a far more, a far, a far bigger variable than people are giving it credit for, for a lot of reasons. Age, health, contract. Yeah, you got to reinvent that. And, and you know, it, it, even, if, even if Tatum and Brown stay for any length of time, you're going to have to reinvent the pieces around them. It's going to have to change. They're going to be different incarnations of the same team, if that makes sense. So, like, I, I, I do have doubts about those. There's no question. Porzingis is a freaking held together with duct tape and bailing wire. Like, who, who knows with him? And, uh, you know, Holiday to me is like your classic candidate to be dealt to a contender. And, and again, I, uh, you know, at the risk of, like, breaking up the team already. But if things go bad and you get to the trade deadline, I say go bad, meaning you have injuries, it, something goes wrong. Okay, and you get to the trade deadline, Holiday is precisely the kind of guy that a team is going to want. Okay, so like there, there will be, uh, all I'm saying is there are a lot of moving pieces. I like you, you you've taken my uh, facilitation Promising. one step further and you have Holiday traded. Right. I got it. No, no, but the point I is like it. you're going to have to replace him sooner or later anyway. Like, uh, you know, whether it's right, one He's not year, a long-term consideration. Right, it's, he's not going to be here for five well, more years, I don't think. My biggest long-term concern, long-term now, so short-term, no guarantee those guys are healthy next year or that you even get them all under contract over the next two, okay? Long-term, I do turn to Brown and Tatum. They're not going to finish their careers with the Celtics. Like, can we just... At least one isn't. Like, accept that. Like, yeah. that's, you know... Pierce didn't, Garnett didn't, like, uh, Robert Parrish didn't, like, but most guys don't. So just like Ray Allen didn't. So just be an adult about the thing and understand that at some point they're going to leave. Okay? Like, I can almost guarantee that. Now, do they leave at the very end when it doesn't matter? Like, okay. But I think they're more, much more serious flight risks. Earlier than that, Jalen Brown has already openly, on the record, complained about the marketing that he gets he's uh, it, it was he just was doing it last month openly on the record explaining about his frustrations over missing out on marketing opportunities now he blamed it on his beliefs but i think there's also a big part there that it's 
hard to get all those marketing dollars when you're the second best player on a team. And if if he's felt that way to this point, he has already openly, on the record, spoken about the the sacrifice that he's had to make playing here. He said that the All Star game two years ago. Remember that? Yeah, of course. So if Jalen Brown is, I, I'm not making it up. He, I'm just telling you what he has said. He has said that playing here is a sacrifice. He has complained about the marketing opportunities here. So would anyone be surprised if in the near future he says? I, I can't grow my brand here the way I want to. And he looks to be somewhere else. Like, I mean, that's obviously got to be a concern. And that becomes more of a concern. I know I've said that, you know, guys leave when they, even when they win. It's easier when you come up just short. So what, what if you're, you know, a team that just comes up a little short and now Jalen Brown's not winning finals MVP and he's not being marketed the way that he should be, or feels he should be. How's that? And then Jason Tatum. Like, he's a Lakers fan. I mean, I don't know. I I, I don't know his uh, affinity for Boston or like I like. He, does he have that Boston thing? Uh, I don't know yet with him. I don't know if he's of the city and for the city and a you know a part of it and wants to be a part of it and and loves everything that it has to offer. I don't know that. Uh, he, he he might be. I don't want to draw a conclusion on that. I do know he wears purple and gold wristbands for Celtics games. So that, like, I know. And he's obsessed with Kobe. You know, there's that whole thing. Here's the. It, it just comes down to this. Do these guys have the internal thing that they want to be great? It's difficult enough to win one championship. It's hard to win multiple. So Jordan had that. Kobe had it. Brady had it. Do they have that? I, I mean, I think Brown probably does. I don't know about Tatum. I still don't know. See, I think they want to be great. I just, don't I just know. don't know if they want to be great here. Well, and I also don't know if they want to be great. And, and I say this. I don't know if they want to be great winners. I, you know what I mean? Like, in other words, the greatness, would you call LeBron a great winner? No. I wouldn't. Okay, I wouldn't. But the persona of LeBron, the LeBron thing is gigantic. It's huge. He's one of the most recognizable figures in the history of sports. Okay, so, like, I think there's a competitiveness now among athletes and people to be that. Let me make my brand bigger than anything. I just think, and I don't mean to pee on your parade, but, I mean, everyone's talking about it. That's Friday. Uh, yes, <laughs> on Friday, I'm going to take a steaming <laughs> leak over that parade. Thank you. Very good, Murray. I didn't think what you were talking about there, the parade. Yeah, I, and I don't mean to be a downer, but everyone's talking about it, so can we talk about it? I mean, or, or, or do you just want to be like, yeah, here we go, Dynasty! That was Joe Murray and Skaz last night at 7 from 7 to midnight. Or do you want to hear some of the reasons why it might not happen? And then we can discuss. Or do you just want a green team? Yeah, well, you want to do that. I prefer to talk. That's Joe Murray and Skaz, <laughs> 7 o'clock every weeknight. We'll give you the other side to it. I can't predict the future. I don't know how it's going to go. But I don't think it's this lock. I think there are a lot of pitfalls. I think there are a lot of things you have to overcome. Short-term and long. Short-term, the, the cast is aged. And the cast was huge. Hugely important to this team. Porzingis and Holiday, just start there. Okay, and then, again, you got to pay all those guys. And there's new rules in the CBA. They're tough. And these are not the deepest pocketed owners to begin with. And there's only been one team that's been able to, a couple. The Warriors with all that money that they get from Asia and these incredible deals that they have in Asia. And Steve Ballmer with the Clippers. Wick is uh, fabulously wealthy. He ain't Steve Ballmer. He doesn't even own his own building. All right, so, like, there's all that. And then there's really Brown and Tatum. I'm not even going to go to the, or do they want to, I'll, I'll concede that they're championship-driven and want to win championships. I just don't think it's going to be that easy to do it without the cast. And then if they're coming up short, or even if they're still winning, do they want to do it here long-term? Those are big questions. Definitely. If you like that clip, check out more videos from Felger and Maz here. For more Celtics analysis and opinion, hit this playlist. And for all the latest from the Sports Hub, download the app at 98.5thesportshub.com.